nothing. This is my wheels. That don't stick. Hey, okay. This is double jump right here. Crazy, bro. Hey, that don't like this. So guys, are y'all tired of seeing this car right here? Of seeing these cars? I mean, of course these are V6s, but are y'all tired of seeing these cars? You got some people saying that they done seen these cars so much now and they starting to look ugly. I don't know about that. Because even though these are V6s, yeah, they do look just like the V8s. The wheels are a little different, but pretty much the same car. And Okay, for example, this GT right here. This is a good looking car, man. So I'm not going to say I'm tired of looking at these cars. But I can understand how somebody could feel like that. Because let's that's, that's be real, guys. These cars haven't changed since, I mean, some people want to say 2008. But I would say since 2015, these cars been looking like this. And Dodge been able to capitalize off the fact that they can make V6s and V8s look the same, use the same parts. Pretty much all they did was change the engine, change some brakes. And of course there's other things that they changed to make the car stable once they put the V8s in it. But this GT is $43,000, 23 And I, I don't know guys, I can't sit here and say that this car... It's ugly, man. I don't know how somebody could say that. Um, <clears throat> but I think people are just ready for something new. Who the hell is that? These cars do look the same. And I think this right here is a 24 Durango. Yep. I mean, they've been making this Durango since I don't know how long. And they ain't really changed nothing. But they did change the hood. Which made a difference, especially when they made this truck a 392 and they changed the inside. I think that's why the Durango is still hanging in there. People don't have a problem with the Durango. It's the Charles and the Challengers that been looking the same for a long time. But I'm still cool with how they look. I don't really have a problem with it. Some people can't get over how those cars look. The Chargers and the Challengers. They don't want to change that all. And that's why they don't like the new one. All right, y'all, look what we got here. We got the new Dodge Charger Daytona Banshee. Check it out, y'all, what y'all think? Not only because it's an EV, it's the fact that they completely changed the car. I think the only way people would love that EV if it had a V8 in it, and they didn't change the body style but so much. They only did some small tweaks to it, but the simple fact that they completely changed the car, some people don't like that. Sorry about the wind, guys. Hope this don't mess up the video. But here's a 300. I'm pretty sure this is a 23. And this car looks similar to mine. They did some minor tweaks to the 392 300C that they didn't do to this one. And it made a big difference. So they did do some things to my 300 that made it look different than the base model Touring. 300. Mine has a spoiler on it. So now you look at my 300. This car looks totally different than that Touring 300. Like I say, look, my grill is different. This car looks totally different to me. You got the Brembo's, got the wing, different valence. They got the dual exhaust. This car is totally different. 
But if you want to get a full walk around in my car, some of the things I like and don't like about my car, go back and watch my other video. I'll pin it up top. I'm not tired of looking at these cars, guys. I'm not sure what people are saying. Um, I don't know what Dodge gonna do once they sell all the V8s. But of course, everybody's entitled to their opinion. I can understand if you're not a true Mopar enthusiast, and even if you are, I can understand how you would like to see something different. Considering how all the other brands, uh, their cars pretty much look totally different. At least the Challenger. I don't think people really wanted that car to change. But that's why Dodge pretty much never really changed the Challenger up. He had the people who complain and say that it's not really a Charger because it's four doors. Muscle cars don't come in four doors. So you got all types of opinions and the way people feel about the Chargers and the Challengers. But it's really no way to satisfy everybody because no matter what you do, regardless of which way you go, there's always going to be somebody complaining. Me personally, if they'd have kept the same body style and updated the interior, I would be perfectly fine the way these cars look. Maybe update, make the lights look a little more modern, based mainly the tail lights, and update them a little bit more, then I think the Chargers and the Challengers will be perfect. Um, this new body style, the only problem I have with it, it kind of looks like a Mustang and a Camaro all mixed in one. It doesn't look real mean to me. The Chargers and Challengers always, to me, look like had that mean muscle car look. And I think that's the main thing that that new uh, Scat Pack is missing, the electric one, is it doesn't have that mean look. But again, guys, it's not a muscle car. It's an electric car. So at the same time, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of glad it doesn't look like a muscle car, but at the same time, I'm going to miss um, these mean looking American muscle charges and challenges. I'm going to miss them, man. And um, they're starting to disappear. A lot of dealerships don't have any more Hellcats, um, which I kind of don't believe. Uh, to be honest, guys, I think the dealers, I think these dealerships have access to a lot more cars than they're willing to admit. That's why most of the time, if you go to the dealership and you ask about a Hellcat, if it's not on a lot, they'll tell you they can get one for you. And they're probably just buying them from different dealers. So there's, you can actually still buy a Hellcat if you really wanted one. Um, but right now they still charging ridiculous in the scat packs, they just really overcharging for those. But man these cars are going away guys and it, it's just funny because i ride by this dealership all the time and it's like the same cars just sitting out here but they look like they're starting to move them because i think they're coming down on the prices but guys hey if you want one man you gotta find you one and try to negotiate it and, and, and get you one and don't listen to all this nonsense people out here talking about these cars old nobody want them they played out i don't think that's necessarily true but leave your comments guys let me know what y'all think i ain't gonna talk y'all to death um I wanted to get out here and get this video in real quick because I've been seeing a lot of people saying that. I'm tired of seeing those cars. They've been looking the same for, for 18 years or 20 years, you know. Hey, that may be true, but a lot of people still like the old retro style muscle cars. And um, I'm one of those people, man. I really don't have a problem with the way these cars look. I just, like I said, I always complain about the interior. That's the main reason why I didn't buy a char another Charger. I wanted the 300 because I wanted something different wanted the car to look different in the inside. I don't want the same thing I've already had twice by having an RT and a scat pack. So leave your comments, guys. Let me know what y'all think. Give me your opinion. And uh, I appreciate y'all watching, man. I'll see y'all on the next one. Peace.